Hey everyone, so today we'll be talking about price comparison websites. In our presentation today, we'll be talking about what a price comparison website is, the pros and cons of price comparison websites, Google Shopping, Yahoo Shopping, and a couple of uh, alternative websites. Then we'll finish it off with a live demo. So first off, what is a price comparison website? Price comparison websites act as a price analysis tool that compare the prices of products and services from a range of different companies or providers. They can help you make the best financial decision about which product or brand you want to invest in. You can see what's available online, find good deals, and read reviews as well. There are many pros and cons of using the price comparison websites. For the pros, you can save money, save time, and find many other choices or alternatives that you wouldn't have known before. For the cons, it's not used by all companies and vendors, so you might not find everything, there's no additional help provided, and there's the loss of human interaction compared to if you were to physically go to a store and ask an expert on their opinion. First up is Google Shopping. Google Shopping is one of the best price comparison websites. It's got a lot of categories that you can compare within. It's super simple and easy to navigate, and um, it's really popular. You can use Google Shopping by searching for the product that you want to compare in its search bar. Now, a, an extensive list of products would match your search, which would generate that would generate on your screen, and you can view prices side by side and choose the ones best for you. For instance, here in this example, the person who was buying decided to buy a mouse, or they were searching for a mouse, so all they had to do was search for mouse, and all these different options came up. Then you can click on the product that appeals to you most, and you'll be redirected to that specific brand's platform or website where you can make your purchase. So here, the buyer was interested in this mouse, and they click on it, and they'll be they were sent to Amazon where they could continue their order. On Google Shopping, you can use filters to help you search as well. After you search for a product, a list of filters will appear on the left side of the products that appear on your screen. For example, price ranges, brands, and conditions. Um, these are all things that will show up as filters. To apply a filter, all you have to do is simply check the box next to the one that you want. On Google Shopping, you can also save items to an account. You can save and make collections of the products that you like and are considering to purchase. This is basically like making a shopping or a wish list. All you have to do is click on the three lines in the top left corner of the website, click your saved items, and you'll be able to access them. To save an item, you just have to click the save button in the top right and add it to your saved items like that. It's very simple. Yahoo Shopping functions very similarly to Google Shopping. It also tracks prices. The menu bar at the top of the home page looks like this, and it has a lot of different things. So first is the home, which takes you to the main page, of course. Deals, which helps you choose from a long list of categories to find sales. Stores, which finds a list of featured stores on Yahoo Shopping. Price tracker, which tracks prices with your Yahoo account. Categories, which helps you shop in the department of your choice. And shopping inspiration which helps you find new ideas and follow shopping trends. To use Yahoo Shopping, just like Google Shopping, all you have to do is search in their search bar. Then you'll find an extensive list of products again, which will match your search and will generate on your screen and you can view prices side by side and choose the best one for you. Then you can click on the product you wish to purchase or gain more information about. If you click on the purple shop button, um, it'll bring you to wherever the provider wants you to go and you'll be redirected there where you can finish your purchase. 
Just like Google and a lot of alternatives, you can use filters after you search for a product. You'll find a list that will appear to the left of the products here, similar to this. And um, you'll find all sorts of things like price range, age range, or stores. A couple other price comparison websites that we would recommend are BizRate, Camel, 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 and Nextag. And that's it for a quick summary on how to use the online shopping. So now I'll conduct a short live demo of how to use Google Shopping. So for Google Shopping, first you have to go to shopping.google.com in your address bar. Um, once you go there, you'll be directed here to Google Shopping. So as you can see, if I were to scroll down, there is a couple different things that Google would just recommend to me personally. These are just things that uh, they would recommend off of their like algorithms and stuff. So um, yeah, these are things that might interest you. Now, of course, that's just if we're just browsing. If there's something that we're interested in, we can go to the search bar and search for anything specific. If I wanted to look for a new laptop, I could just enter laptop into the search bar and it'll redirect me to their shopping page. Here, I can scroll down to find all sorts of different choices that Google would recommend me. But if that's not enough for me, I can um, use the filters. Now, I personally really like using filters because um, it really narrows down what you want to find and make it really quick and easy to find anything. So. Let's say that um, I wanted something that was like um, no more than $600. I'm looking for a cheap laptop that I can bring around easily with me. So I could um, find all sorts of things that match that filters choice here. And um, if I wanted, I can also look for other um, categories and filters that I want to apply if I'm interested. Now. Let's say that I'm interested in a specific model. So let's say this first one here, the Dell laptop with the 11th gen Intel core. Um, if I were interested in this, I could click on the picture here and it'll show me like the product details. Um, let me try another one. So yeah, okay. So let's say that I wanted to get the Lenovo IdeaPad here. Um, if I'm interested, I just have to click on this and this um, pop-up or this little drop down will show up. And basically what this does is it compares the different prices that Google can find from across, um, across their search. So basically uh, from they'll search different providers and see which ones have the best prices or like best quality. I just, I just have to click compare to prices and yeah, they just have it tabled out for me. Now, of course, this is only two, so it doesn't seem like much, and they're both from Best Buy. So um, we can see that the item prices are the exact same, but sometimes this isn't the case, and there will be other um, providers that you can find um, all in this huge table. Now, if I'm interested in getting this computer, all I have to do is click here on this, and um, that link will bring me to the provider or whoever is selling. So Best Buy is selling me this computer. So I've been redirected to their website. And here I can continue to just make my purchase through their uh, order platform. And yeah, that's it for a quick summary on how to use online shopping. Thanks for listening.